Hello, good evening everybody. Welcome to the Athena Art Foundation's live for this evening. I'm Louise, I'm from Transform Life and tonight I'm going to present to you a practice in mindful art. And that might not be something that you have experienced before, um, but I'm hoping some of you will join me to come along for this practice. If you are joining, just maybe say hi um, and um, join us. Um, one of the things we will try and uh, do this evening is to save this recording afterwards and share it with you guys so you can watch it at another time. But it's a really lovely submersive practice for you to do. Um, I'm going to guide you in a mindfulness practice, but we are going to introduce a piece of art for you to follow as an anchor of support. So when everything is going on around us, and we'll not mention the big C word, uh, Christmas, um, Christmas is fast approaching and things are just getting a little bit busy, a little bit stressed. So this is your opportunity to down tools, maybe take a load off just for a short while uh, and join us in this experience. Now, mindfulness has this lovely way of um, allowing us to regulate and find balance when things might just feel a little bit overwhelming. Um, and quite often in our mindfulness practice, because this mind of ours likes to take over and get us to do crazy things, we need an anchor of support. Now, normally with our mindfulness practice, that will be the support of our breath. Um, and we tend to get into meditation and ask ourselves to recognize and notice the breath. But in this practice tonight, we're actually going to do an eyes open practice and introduce this idea of art as our mindfulness support. So I'm going to take you along that journey. So first things first, um, I want you to get as comfy as you possibly can. Um, so um, you want to be able to see your phone or whatever device that you're watching this on. Um, but maybe have a sense that we're sitting in a posture that's comfortable, that's upright, that gives us this lovely space to breathe. Um, like I say, it's gonna be eyes open. I'm gonna introduce um, a, an art piece for you to watch. Um, but to begin with, we are going to just settle our body and our mind down by doing a short practice of meditation. This will be fully guided. So even if you have never done any mindfulness practice before, don't worry, I will lead you, I will be here for you. Um, and at the end of this practice, we're going to have some time for you to ask questions, to share your comments, your experiences of the practice, and for us to have a wee look at the painting in a little bit more detail. So I'm not going to introduce the painting right away. We'll get into our practice and then I'll, I'll bring the video on for you so that you can have a look. So if you're all ready, thank you for joining. Get nice and comfortable. If you wish to bring your eyes to close, then that is cool. If that's not okay, maybe just having a soft gaze, allowing your eyes to go hazy, maybe a foot in front of you, and we will begin. So bringing those eyes to close, let's take a nice long deep breath in, breathing all the way into the bottom of your lungs and breathing all the way out nice and long and slow. And if that's the first nice long deep breath we've taken today, let's take another one in. Perhaps noticing the shoulders drop away from the ears. And as we begin in our practice, maybe just recalling to mind your motivation for joining us live. Whatever that might be this evening. And our intention for this practice is to find some stillness whilst submerging ourselves in a piece of art. So we're going to just begin to settle the breath. So we're going to breathe in for a count of four and breathe out for a count of four. We're going to spend some time just doing that for a short while. So that might sound breathing in, two, three, four, breathing out, two, three, four. So we're beginning to slow the breath down, especially if we've had a busy day. We're going to step into our practice and arrive here in this space. So as we count the breath in and out, we can start to feel the breath in our body. We might use the phrase, I am breathing in, I am breathing out. And then we're just going to allow our breath to return to a nice natural rhythm. 
as we turn our awareness to our body here. And if we can, maybe getting 2% more comfortable, allowing the body to sink a little deeper. And we can start to let go of holding the body and allow the body to be held by wherever we're sitting, on a cushion or a chair, the ground. Having that sense that gravity is holding us here, that gravity has us and we feel supported in our practice. So we can let go of the body, perhaps lengthening through the spine and allowing the rest of the body to soften. And we might begin to feel a little bit more rested here. Our mind might be whirring away. So we're going to introduce now this anchor of support. So I'm going to share with you our painting for this evening. So if it feels okay to do so, gently blinking your eyes open and beginning to notice the painting that's in front of us. As we take a long breath in and out, we can start to notice what we're faced with. And our eyes might be initially drawn to something specific. But perhaps we can allow our eyes just to rest wherever they're naturally drawn towards. As we move around this painting, we can start to notice things that might catch our eye. We might start to notice colours, shapes, form. We might be drawn to the darkness. We might be drawn to the light. So as we begin to rest gently with this painting, we might notice already thoughts or feelings that arise as we intently gaze, resting with this painting. We're letting go of everything else in our day and arriving here with this practice in this painting. So as we are drawn through this painting, just noticing. And to just notice, we might gently label what we see. So we might see colour. We might see points of interest, gentle light, softness, sharp edges. And as we label them in our mind, it allows us to be truly present with what we see. We don't have to get lost in thought of why or how or the story that it tells us at this stage. All we need to do is rest gently with what we see before us. And in this practice, we will continue to gaze and notice, allowing the story and the why to just drop for a moment. But just to notice what's here. Perhaps you can settle on a word or phrase that might just sum up exactly how you feel as you rest. Noticing what emotion might be here. Noticing what thoughts or feelings this painting might bring up for you. And we might just get a sense of the answer to that question. What's here? As we land in our mindfulness practice, just noticing how our breath and our thoughts are here with this painting. Resting gently. And as we begin to gaze deeper into this painting, we might begin to notice details, textures, smoothness, form, there might be parts of this painting that are suddenly clarified for us. 
there might be parts of this painting that we didn't notice on first look. So as you begin to explore with your eyes, can you focus on particular nuances or shades as this process of mindful art continues through, we will have an opportunity for parts of this painting to be zoomed into and zoomed out of. So notice as we do that, what changes for us? What's here in that present moment? As we continue in our practice, maybe let's take a moment to take a breath. So wherever you are set on this painting, let's take a nice long deep breath in. Breathing all the way in and all the way out. It can be difficult to notice. So blinking our eyes once more, we readjust and refocus on what is here. As we look around, we find ourselves drawn to particular light, darkness, shadows. And as we're further into this process, we want to be aware of how does it make us feel? Perhaps at the beginning of this practice, we had an initial thought about this painting. Perhaps as we move through this painting now, we can start to notice that our feeling or emotion has changed. Our thoughts might have shifted. As we narrow our focus here, we might get caught up in the story of the actors in this piece. We might notice what is happening. But notice if you can naturally where the eye is drawn rather than too much about figuring out what's happening. Just allowing your gaze to be drawn wherever it finds a gentle place to land. We might get a sense of what it might be like to transport ourselves into this picture. We might have a sense of what it might feel like to be here. It might be an interesting angle, especially in this picture, this view to look up, to look to the north of this painting, to look to the sky. We start to notice different colours here, perhaps colours that we have missed by draw, being drawn into the action. As we're drawn into the centre of this painting, we can see the brightness colours of garments of animals, of sunrise or sunset. Maybe we don't know what time of day this is. As the painting moves, we notice and allow our eyes to rest gently with what's here. And we can take some comfort that we are resting just with this practice, just with this painting, nothing to do, nowhere to be, but just here, with this painting, held by the ground, resting with our breath, and resting with what's here. Allowing your gaze to be drawn to wherever it feels drawn to. Noticing and labelling as we work through this painting. 
Noticing what's here. Noticing texture as we zoom in. Shade, sharpness, softness, detail and light. As we pull back to the wider picture, maybe taking a moment to rest your eyes, taking a nice long deep breath in and all the way out. And then gently and slowly opening your eyes and you might even get a sense of sharpening the focus on the colours. As we pull back into this wide lens shot. Has your focus of attention changed? Has something else caught your eye in the detail? this wonderful painting, we might be able to share a wider shot with you in a few moments. So what are we left with as we are drawn towards the close of this practice? What emotions are here? What feeling do we feel in the body? Noticing what might be present with us. And as our mindfulness practice comes towards a close, I want you to notice if you can drop in some gratitude into your mind. What are you grateful for with this painting or this time that has been given to you to explore this painting? What are you grateful for? And then bringing your eyes to close Perhaps we can still see the painting in our mind. And together we're going to take three long deep breaths in. Breathing all the way into the bottom of our lungs and breathing all the way out nice and long and slow. Knowing that the inhale will always follow the exhale. Very slowly and gently, wriggling fingers, wriggling toes, blinking your eyes to open, stretching the body in any way that feels good. Oh, it feels good after a long day at your computer. Well done, everybody. One of the most lovely things at the end of our practice is really to have some inquiry. And I know that there's not a lot of people on here live but I'm going to explore some thoughts with you that you can think about when you watch this back. So hopefully you can start to notice how mindful art can be a truly wonderfully immersive experience. How did we get on, do you think, just looking at this snapshot of time? Really difficult to put down our day sometimes, especially we're in tremendous stressful times and busy times. But by being in a scene that is maybe totally unique or different to our world, we can perhaps just set down for a moment some of that stuff. And as we zoomed in and out of this painting, what we might be noticed is that we're drawn to particular shape or form. As you can imagine, we're drawn to this red and blue tone of this lady on an animal of some kind. So we might be drawn to the focus of that, just for a short while. And then as we zoom out and pull ourselves out, the obvious thing for me is this building or structure that's right in the centre of that lovely okra yellow. Whether it uh, looks to me like some kind of tower or lookout. But for so much to be going on in the foreground, I am absolutely drawn to what's in the background. Now, I'm not going to psychoanalyse that, but isn't that interesting when so much attention and detail has been paid to the foreground that I'm immediately drawn 
to kind of like the top quadrant of the painting. And then what's interesting as we notice as we move through this practice, it was only when we were kind of three quarters of the way in that I noticed that there was blue sky. So when we walk past a piece of art in a gallery, quite often we go, oh, I like that or I don't like that. We don't spend a lot of time spent with the painting to acknowledge and notice the techniques, the nuances, the shade, the parts of the painting that have drawn our attention. Everything in this painting is here for a reason. And it's just interesting to notice where our mind goes when we spend some mindful art time. What's interesting as we zoom into this picture, the cross of the trees could always also be somewhere that we're drawn. And if you look closely, there is a man, looks like he's hugging a tree or a female hugging a tree. So we can start to notice these little things that are happening in the story. There's a real sharpness right in the middle of this painting. Looks like a sharp rock. Without my magnifying glass, I can't tell you what it is. So again, we're drawn right into the centre of this painting as the river winds out to the sea. There's something for me, without going into the story around what this represents, there's something really golden and hopeful about this. And whether that's right or wrong with actually what I'm going to share you, the title of um, the painting in a second. But for me, there's something really hopeful and light in the colours that are here. Um, and for me, that's the, the nature of this mindful art practice. We don't need to know the story. We are just present with what it presents for us um, today, right in this moment in time. So if you have any questions that aren't mindful <laughs> questions, you can obviously direct them to the direct message and Athena Art Foundation will pick them up for me and pass them on. If you want to have a look at Transform Life, that's T-R-A-N-C-E uh, form underscore life, you can come and join us there for other mindfulness practices. Um, this is a pastoral landscape with the flight into Egypt by Claude Lorraine from 1663. So if you have any art history questions, direct them in the Athena Art Foundation um, mailbox and they'll pick them up for you. For everybody that's managed to join us live, even for a short while, I encourage you to watch this practice back. We will hopefully download and share it with you and you can watch it at a time that suits you. And when you're going about your day, if you pass any artworks, spend a bit of time being with your breath, finding your grounding and find that practice of mindful art. You'll gain a new appreciation and some more moments of stillness. Thank you for joining me tonight and hopefully see you all soon in the new year. Merry Christmas.